Zadarius Smith, let's begin with him. I don't, for whatever reason, I thought they were going to let him walk. When you, you know, in terms of sacks, his production's been down since the middle of the 2022 season. You know, he had te- he had nine and a half sacks the first half of the 2022 season. He's had six sacks total since the mid- middle of a year and a half. But you look at his, some of the advanced statistics on him in terms of pass rush, he's not good against the run. In terms of the pass rush, pass rush win rate, all these things, he graded out pretty well in those things. He's getting a decent amount of money, a little raise, and it's a two-year deal. What do you think about bringing Zadarius Smith back? Well, before I get on Zadarius yeah. Smith, let me say this. Did you know the Browns have an infatuation with Heisman winning quarterbacks? Do they? RG3, Baker, Jameis. Johnny Manziel. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, Darius Smith. <laughs> what okay. I like about him, yeah. the, although Darius Smith wasn't productive from the stats yeah. standpoints last year, Miles had one of his best years. Yeah. What I liked about Darius when they got Darius is that he changed Miles Garrett's from a maturity standpoint. You know, okay. Miles Garrett was running around Berea. Like I'm, the, I'm that guy, you know. I'm that, yeah. like, who's gonna tell me what to do? Zadarius did, you know. Remember, it was a drill that they did. It was a get off drill or something like that. Yeah. And Miles kind of did it lazy. He said, "Get back down there. We're gonna do it again." Like that type of thing. He challenged Miles. Miles, in his mind, thought, "I gotta get to the ball because Zadarius Smith is good enough to get there." So it actually turned Miles up a little bit more. That is something that you hadn't seen in the Browns organization since Miles has been here. So I think that's where his value was, just from a leadership standpoint. Um, I think that he can be productive. I mean, he had some moments where, you know, he was good against the rushing attack. I think the sack numbers will come. He just... I don't know. It's just something about being opposite of Miles Garrett that that maybe J- Jadavion was right. <laughs> maybe they do cater to game plans for more Miles or yeah. something. I don't know, but I think he can be more serviceable and more productive than he was last year. Typically, guys year two under in the same system is more productive in that system. So I'm I'm guessing they look at Darius and see what he brings to the table. His physical attributes, the fact that he can play inside and outside. You can you can have a full pass rush defense line with him in the inside. I think his versatility is why they say, you know what, let's just run it back one more time. Yeah, no I think you make a great point. I hadn't really thought about the Miles Garrett part of it that much. It's 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 an excellent point, Jason. It's probably a big part of the reason why they did bring him back. And Beyond, like they had good chemistry, the two of them. Whereas yeah. Miles and and Jadavion did not have good chemistry, as, right? Like Jadavion complained about it basically when he went out the door. Yeah. So I I think what do you think of this move? I mean, there's a reason Jadavion's one year everywhere he goes. Yes. Yeah. And I hope that this isn't another Jadavion where you were better off cutting him after one year, cutting ties with him right. after one year, and moving on. I think when we did a show shortly after the season, I felt like Zedarius was going to come back. Yeah. But. The deeper we got into this, I had really talked myself. I saw Chase Young and thought, man, this is a perfect <laughs> prototypical Browns type of signing. Yeah. Young guy with a lot of upside. Give him a one-year deal. Put him opposite Miles. You know he's going to be young and hungry because he's trying to cash in on a big-time deal. Now, it didn't work in San Francisco. He didn't have the impact in San Francisco. I think a lot of us thought that he would. Mm-hmm. But maybe here with Jim Schwartz, I would have rather seen them go that route. But I know you know, the money, what Chase is probably going to wind up getting is probably significantly more on a one-year deal than what they paid Zedarius. Maybe right. that played into it. Maybe they do really do like Zedarius that much. I don't love this deal at all. Um, I'm sort of mediocre on it because I just I'm, I get a little bit concerned that it's you, you should have just cut ties with them after a year. Of all the things the Browns did in the last two days, it's the thing I like the least. Yeah. But I, I don't hate it. Right, but I don't hate it. 